whether riba is big or it is small, it is still riba. Number one. And he says whether riba is big, 20%, 30%, or small, 2%, 1%, you know, gram. What's the name of that bank in Bangladesh? Nobel Prize? Gramin, yeah. Gramin. Gramin. And they get a Nobel Prize for that. Whether riba is big or small, the result is still the same. It just takes more time. It ends up in destitution and poverty. So it doesn't matter whether it is bigger or smaller, it is still haram. Why does the money lender lend you an interest either through the front door, conventional, or through the back door, so-called Islamic? Why? Sometimes he does that in order to get you a pound of flesh. You know about the British Sheikh, don't you? Who wrote that excellent book on riba? Never heard about him? Shakespeare. That's right. What's the name of the book? Merchant of Venice. Merchant of Venice. The best book on riba you can find. Shakespeare. Sometimes he lends you on interest for your pound of flesh. Huh? So that his gain would be your loss. وَأَكْلِهِمْ أَمْوَالَ النَّاسِ بِالْبَاطِلِ says the Quran. But sometimes he lends you an interest for a more sinister objective. And for that you must read John Perkins. Take a note. Confessions of an Economic Hitman. He lends you an interest because he wants to enslave you and so you no longer have freedom you cannot do what you want to do because the slave master says no you're going to pay a price and you can't pay that price so you have to vote as Malaysia voted remember when Malaysia voted in favor of the resolution the Security Council revolution for the use of force against Iraq, Saddam Hussein? Yeah. And all the Malaysian people, all, all, all were opposed. And Dr. Mahathir said, we couldn't do otherwise. If we had not voted this way, they'll destroy our economy. Okay? And so, don't complain about whether the rate of interest is higher or lower. It is still haram. And the result will be the same. It just takes more time. They want to impoverish you, reduce you to poverty, and that's why there are demonstrations in New York now. Oh, yeah. and, here. and the American people are now surrounding Wall Street. Wall Street. Uh, this little booklet was written at the request of the Director General of the Prime Minister's Department of Economic Planning. Can't remember his name now. He attended a lecture of mine. He said, write this, but don't make it more than 50 pages. The gold dinar and the silver dirham. Islam and the future of money. And we're going to have it soon in Bahasa. This tells you, in a nutshell, the story of money and 